We are going to have a look at how to create a macro from scratch and run it. You can generate a part of the code in your macro by recording some content in SOLIDWORKS using either a part or assembly. You can then use the VBA editor to edit the content of the recording so that it does what you'd like to intend. There are a few steps to follow to create a successful macro. Number one, plan your user interface actions before recording. Each click will be recorded, so keep them to a minimal. Number two, record the user interface actions. Number three, edit the macro by deleting any extra lines and specify the values that might need to be specified. And then four, run the macro and see the results. Now here, if you do have any problems, you would need to fix them. And you can do this by either debugging the code or rewriting and reading the code. And then once the code runs successfully, save it so that you can reuse it at a later stage. You can also create a macro from scratch by adding in the code if you have it already available. In our case, we are going to create a macro to add points to a 3D sketch by using coordinates from a text file. I will start with an empty macro and add in the code that I previously typed out. In this case, my code will be reading a text file with X, Y and Z coordinates. And in my code, I need to specify what the file name and location is. Once my code is in and I am happy with the location and the name of my file, I can then save the macro and run it. And once I run it, I can see that I don't have any issues and I can save my macro so that I can reuse it at a later stage. If you want to reference the code that I'm using, have a look at our description. Thank you for joining me in this video about how to create macros.